Hey there, how's it going? Uh, today, let's learn how to build a sticky sidebar within our Squarespace blog pages. Let's dive in. Hey, so I'm Will and I help you with the coding that you need to design the website that you want in Squarespace. Um, so let's just jump right into building this. So I'm just gonna hit edit. I'm on my blog page in a blog collection here. I'm just gonna hit edit on this page. And I'm just gonna grab whatever content. We just wanna put the content over here on the side and then we'll worry about making it sticky. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I want this table of contents that's up here. So I'm gonna move that over to the side. I'm looking at my, my blue indicator light right here. I want it to go fully the whole length of the side. So basically, it's along the entire side. So my whole blog contents on one side and my table of contents and whatever else we want in this area for the sidebar is gonna be on the other side. So that is looking good. Let's add in, maybe I want an image in down here that I can link out to something. So let's upload my travel image. Um, this is a travel blog. This is my travel blog, traveling with your pup. Uh, you can also add a link in here if you want this image to link out to something. That's great. Um, okay, so this is just the general setup. This is good. However, of course, this doesn't stick. It doesn't stick to the side as I scroll. So the CSS that we want to... Actually, this is looking a bit small. You might want to do this too. Uh, if you have like your normal width of the blog page, that's kind of what you want for the content, but now we've squished it because we've added it, added in another column here. So why don't we go into edit mode and make the whole width, go to edit and pull the custom content width out to a little bit larger. So yeah, that feels about right, 62. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, so now let's, I'm gonna jump into the, the web inspector just so we can play around and just see what's happening. What is the CSS that we actually need to get in here? So I'm gonna right click, go to inspect. Um, and you'll notice there are two things here. So we have our, we have one column here, or this is our, this is the whole blog content. And then we have a column here and a column here. And what we want is for this column to be sticky. So we have this column and this column. Um, and so I can test around with that. If I've clicked on this element, I can just add in the position sticky, and then we give it a top property because the position sticky doesn't work unless we have this top property. So I'm just gonna say top zero. Where does it want to stick to? So now that I've added that, so that's great. So this is working, that's what I want. But I've put this into the web inspector. This isn't gonna work on a live site. But we basically wanna target this column and make it sticky. However, it's very difficult to target this unique column. It requires just a bunch of extra like coding. If you're ju just using CSS, that's not really a great solution. So I've sort of come up together with a JavaScript solution that kind of just looks for this column, whichever column you want, and then applies that stickiness to it. So the, the workaround is we're just gonna add, I'm just gonna hit edit here. And right below here, we're gonna add another code block. Now, if you're on a personal plan, you can use a markdown block. That works just as well. But I'm going to add a code block and let's delete the content that's in there. Now go over to our website uh, and the HTML in that area, just copy that whole bit of code. And this is just a bunch of, bunch of gibberish that is saying, hey, look for this column in this column, make it sticky. Add this class WM sticky column to it. So add that class to whatever column this code is in. So that's just what that's doing. You don't really need to understand it more than that, unless you want to. Um, and now what we need to do is add in that CSS that we were playing around with earlier to turn that into a actual sticky column because you notice nothing is sticking. So it was that WM, what was the class? WM sticky column. So you can come back over to my website over here and just copy that CSS and just paste it into your custom CSS area. And now you can see as we scroll, boom, that sticks. And so what this is saying is only when our the, the width of our screen is larger than 767 pixels, because we don't want this applying on mobile because it would get a little weird, uh, that is when we want to apply our sticky column. So that's how it works. The cool part about this code is that this can work on any classic editor section. It doesn't just have to work in, uh, in our blog pages. This will work on any page on your website as long as you're using the classic editor, not the Fluid Engine. Um, 
And the other thing you might want to adjust, notice if we do our top to zero, it's gonna stick to zero. Uh, I like to give it a little bit of space to account for our header, because you might have a sticky header up here, and so give it a little bit of a wider top column to account for the header. Um, last but not least, let's hit save on this code. Um, on mobile, that column is just going, since we're just using normal, the, the Squarespace classic editor, and we've just put it to the side, that column is just gonna be right down here at the bottom, uh, our, our sidebar. It's just gonna be placed right down there. If you want it maybe at the top on mobile, if you want it on the top, you'd have to move this, all of this content over to the left side. So that's how you get it over there on the top. Um, I think that's it. So there we go, that is how this works. I hope this helps. Uh, I have a tutorial on my website if you have any more questions or wanna read through the content a little bit more. Um, and of course, send me an email or, or send me a support ticket. I'm happy to answer any other questions you have. I have a store on my website with a bunch of other plugins and other fun stuff to mess around with if you want to enhance your Squarespace website a little bit more. Other than that, adios. I'll see you next time.